Welcome to the ByteBeat Tech YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 11 with Windows 10. Let's get started. First, we need to create a virtual disk. To do that, open Computer Management. Go to Disk Management. Create VHD. You can select any location to make virtual disk. I'm selecting the C partition. Select the capacity for the virtual disk. I'm adding 32 gigabytes but you can add any size you want. OK. Virtual disk was created. Now we need a bootable Windows 11 pen drive or DVD to install Windows 11. If you don't know how to make a bootable device, you can check out my previous video. OK. Let's boot our Windows 11 bootable device after restarting. I'm using VMware to make this video. In your case, you have to find the boot menu key. The boot menu key differs from a manufacturer. You can be found by doing a quick search. In my case, my VM is not compatible with Windows 11 operating systems. So I have to bypass the compatibility check. To do that, I'm changing registry files. To begin, open the command prompt by pressing the Shift key and the F10 key simultaneously. Locate this registry path and make a new key. If you have Windows 11 system requirements, you don't need to do this registry modification. Add these three 32-bit word values to the lab config key. OK, now we can continue. Our virtual disk is not showing up on the partition list. So we need to attach it. To do that, open the command prompt again and type the disk part command. We need to locate our VHD file. We can find partitions letter by listing partitions. 
In my case, my VHD location is C drive. VHD selecting command. Attach VHD command. Exit. Now we can install Windows 11 on our virtual disk. We can select Windows 11 or 10 on the starting PC. In system configuration, you can select an operating system to boot automatically. Thanks for watching this video if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.